Okay, today we're back with another disassembly video. Today we're going to be looking at the Ruger Mark IV target. Uh, we're going to be taking this down to bare frame. I'm going to show you all how to do that. So let's just go ahead and start. Um, make sure we have a clear and empty gun. Of course we do. Let me flip a different light on here. Make sure we got enough light. And now that we're clear, let's go ahead and separate the lower from the upper and put the lower off to the side for a second and pull the bolt. Now, to start on the bolt, you're going to want to remove the mainspring. It just pops out of there. And it's all captured, so it can't, you know, nothing you can do with this. It's studded on this end. So I'll put that up. From there, if you want to remove the firing pin, you're just going to want to push this pin out. Put it off to the side, and then your firing pin will slide out of there. And then you're gonna have a spring and a guide um, inside the gun, inside the track. And I'll show you how that goes back in here in just a few minutes. Cause I'm gonna put the bolt back together before we start on the frame. That way everything's uh, out of the way. So next you have the extractor. And the extractor can go, where's my other pick? One of two ways. It can go really quick and easy or it can be a pain in your butt. Um, so let me zoom in and I'll try to show you what I'm gonna do. So basically, if you see, you have two pieces, three pieces. You have your extractor here, and then you have this plunger, and then, of course, there's a spring. So always make sure that you take out the firing pin spring or firing pin pin first because you won't be able to pull the spring down enough to be able to lift the extractor out. So basically, what you have to do is push down on this, on the extractor, and get something sharp in there, like a tight blade would work, and then... I pull it back enough to where I can get this slotted screwdriver in that's going to kind of hold it. And then I'm going to let the pick fall out. And I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to try when I'm pushing that down to lift the extractor out. Now this part can be, especially the way I'm standing. That's what you want to avoid right there is making sure. So I'm going to come over here on the side, um, zoom out just a little bit. You get the idea. So you're going to have to do it your own way maybe. There we go. And just slowly ease off of that. And then you're going to have that plunger fall out. And then the spring. Now, putting it back in is a lot easier. So, um, when you put it back in, just go ahead and slide the spring down in there. And a lot of rifles are like this, 22s and stuff. They have the same kind of extractor system. Obviously, it's a 22. So, um, so slide the spring down in there, and then take the plunger with the the cut side down. So you want the it obviously to be all flat on top, and then just push it back in there. Keep it as straight as you can, and then while you do that. You'd want to take the extractor let me see if I, and push it in. Nope. There we go. Until it snaps and it falls down into its place. Make sure you have a tension on the extractor. Put a loaded or put a case in there and make sure it'll hold. And that is bolt disassembly. So let's go ahead and put the bolt back together, like I said, just to make sure that we keep the little parts out of the way. Um, so take your spring and the guide, slide the spring on the bottom of the guide, and then the guide will go slanted in down. And then I just slide it in from the back. Just make sure it stays facing downwards. And then you can just take something to push it up into its little slot. It'll go, once you put the firing pin in, down like this and then take your pin push on the firing pin just a little bit until it slides through then take your mainspring push that down in there just like so and your bolt is complete so really simple bolt um, I say simple like I haven't had a lot of problems uh, pulling the extractors out before because I have and it'll happen so Okay, so next we have the frame. 
And I've went ahead and removed the grips just for quickness in the video. Um, so go ahead and remove your grips. Whatever grips you have on there, go ahead and remove those now. Um, and then we'll start with the mag release because it's easy and it's right there. Get your Allen. And basically what you want to do is push down on the mag release. You really don't even have to. Just I push down on it just a little bit and break that screw free. And then from there, just pull out the mag release. Just make sure that... I'm going to zoom in. Just make sure that it's detent and spring stay in there. Now I, for the sake of having a messy desk right now, I'm just going to put these screws back in their spots. Same for the uh, slide lock. I'm just going to... Just start it down in there. That way it's there and I know where it's at. Okay. Um, let's see. Go ahead and remove the next, your slide lock itself. Just get a little flat head. Hopefully a hollow ground bit. And screw that. And the slide lock just comes out like that. Just a single little piece. It wraps around this part that I'll show you. And then... Once again, I'm just going to pop that screw back down in there. Maybe. Well, I can't even screw in the screw, so. Shaking too much here to get this down in there. There we go. Man, a whole minute to get that screw in there. One thing I forgot about. Sorry about that. Shutting off the TV. Um, so from here, let's go ahead and shut my watch off. Um, we're going to take out the trigger assembly and uh, the trigger and the trigger bar and everything. So you have this front pin here. It's one sided. It can only come out from the right. Um, so take a little pusher and push that screw out and that pin out. You can see it's got a head on it, so it only goes in one way. Um, then pull your punch out. From there, you're going to have the actual slide locking mechanism um, come out. And uh, where else? The, the little spring. So, bolt catches out. And then you have, if you look down in there, look down in your gun, you're going to see a spring right up here in the front. You can just pull that spring out. Yeah, any other time it just wants to come right out, so. Yeah, there you little booger. There you go. So, that's that little spring. Um, from there, you can lift up the trigger out of here, and you should be able to pull the trigger off itself, um, off the trigger bar. And you do have a spring and detent that go in here, plunger. So make sure you keep that, keep that together. Um, and then, oh Jesus. Oh, well, let me see if I can mute this uh, real quick here. There we go, shut that off. Um, let's see, what do we wanna do next? Let's go ahead and do the hammer and everything. Um, so, if you didn't start, I mean, go ahead and put a magazine in here. Easy way to can't get my 
finger up in there to do it. Now that I've taken the trigger off, I can't trip the... Hammer. Yeah, well, you don't have to. Um, if you just... Uh, we're basically going to be removing this pin over here. This might be a safety, depending on how you have your gun set up. I've done the safety delete. So I've got the screw and the washer in there. So I'll remove that real quick. Put it off to the side and then you can push out the safety, which the safety is holding the trigger bar, the magazine disconnect, the disconnect spring, and the uh, safety uh, lever itself. Not the actual lever, but the, the bar. Um, so... If you want to just hold everything down with your finger and just push that it just fell out oh there's another spring i'll show you where that goes in a second push it halfway out just kind of push down on the hammer and once you pull this out it's all going to want to release like that okay so everything came out trigger bar, safety, um, hammer, strut, magazine disconnect, and uh, the only thing that's left in the gun besides the main house, it, main housing, is the uh, sear, and the sear spring. So before I go to the sear spring and the main housing, let me show you real quick what you got. So you have your hammer and the hammer strut and the magazine disconnect, and it's spring here, and they go back down into the gun like this. They just kind of sit down in there. I'll show you when we get there. And then the magazine, or the safety, sits on top of the sear. So when you put this back in the gun, you're going to have to push the sear. Nope, oh, nope, pin fell out. So, sear's out now. I'll show you when we get there how to take that all out. So You have to watch that when you put it back in. Always put a little piece of tape over the back side of the pin so it doesn't fall out. All right. Uh, last thing is the main house, main spring, and the... Uh, locking or the stop bolt um so if you just want to push this pin out keep uh push the button in on the back is the easiest way keep your kind of keep your hand over it and just be careful because you have all right you have two springs on the bottom of the button itself that sit they slide on like this, and they sit on those two little tits right there. So now the frame is completely done, disassembled. Nothing else you can do to it, so do whatever you need to do. I had to take this apart when I got it because it was used and do a massive cleaning. Um, there was some stuff not put back together right. That's why the spring's all bent to hell. Um, but it was completely dirty, which is kind of amazing i've never really seen one this dirty um in the hundreds of guns i've traded for so all right you ready to put it back together i am actually i'm not but let's do it so we will start back again with the magazine or the mainspring um or you can do the sear first if you want um i'm gonna do no i can't remember which way i like to do this no i'm gonna do the sear first so let's do the sear first so the sear has a pin and a spring, and it'll go in the gun. So look at the gun, the way it's sitting here. And this is going to go like this with this spring with the leg down. So it sits in the gun like this. Yeah, there, like that. And that's what gives it its tension to flip back and forth when it's pushing against the frame right here. Um, so what I do, this might be a little different than what other people do, but, um, I'm going to grab a pair of somethings. I got, uh, forceps here. I'm going to try to back out while I show you this. Um, or tweezers work, whatever you got, vice grips, not vice grips, needle nose. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to grab it like it's supposed to sit. And then I'm going to put it down into the gun like this and get it the hole lined up and i'm gonna drop the pin through the hole 
like so. And then I'm gonna take my forceps off. And then what you have to watch is push, maybe push down on it a little bit to keep tension on it because this pin wants to fall out the back. And that, I use that to my advantage to put the uh, spring in. So I don't put the spring in at the same time. So now what I'm gonna do is take my spring leg down and I'm going to, with my middle finger, I'm letting the pin release here in the back. And I'm gonna let that pin release enough to where the sear stays in place, but I can still get the spring in there. So if I have to flip the sear forward, and I'm just gonna place that spring up in there and behind where it needs to go and then push the pin through so this is ideally what it'll look like um, when you're done so the spring is coming up and through and behind so whenever I push back towards the trigger on the that it is tension has front tension so it wants to push back towards the gun so I'll try to get a close up of how that's that spring really isn't showing up on camera but it's right there it is coming up and I can see it coming up right here at the back and then right there that little shiny spot you see I don't know why it's not focusing it's right there it's it's really difficult to see you kind of see it right there um, so from now like I said before this pin is just going to fall right out until you get the hammer and everything down in there. So I will, I'm going to set it up like this for right now. I'm going to grab just a little piece of masking tape. I'm going to put it on the right side of the gun. So that way when I flip it over like this, that pin don't fall out. And I have to do that over again. Trust me. Ask me now how, how I know. Okay. Um, for now you can put the mainspring back in. So what you want to do is just make sure you've got your two springs. They slide on this, slides on, and they line up with the tits down there, or nubs, or whatever you want to call them. Tits is a good word, right? Um, and it'll slide down in here. Now you might have to, you'll have to push the sear up and out of the way to get it past it, and it'll go like that. And now, this part, is one of the, you have to push, Let's see, we gotta get it just right and up. Because. There we go. I just went ahead and captured it real quick because I'm gonna have to push this pin through. And if you look. When I pull this back, you're gonna see that there's, a, there's springs there that are pushing to put tension on the pin and trying to push those through um, while you're holding all this together it's kind of hard so I put a punch through there and I'm gonna pull the punch back a little bit push this through while I do it So I got I at least captured one side, and from there I can put the uh, oh, lost my light. I can put the the bolt stop back in. So let me back it out just a little bit more. Put the bolt stop back in with a notch facing the trigger front of the gun. Just a little bit more, and then I can might have to line it up. I'm going to. Take a quick second, let me plug my light back in. It kind of died on me. There we go. All right, um, so where were we? Put this back through so I can kind of see down in there. I'm just going to push this pin kind of. Might have to get release some pressure and then you can see where it finally ends up and just push it through so now the button works again main springs in there um you can see where the sear spring ends up when i'm pushing tension back on it right now right there all right 
Now, if you wanted to take all this apart, you could. This pin just pops out. It's just studded, so it wants to stay in there. And just make sure you know which way it all goes back in. You have the right side. You have your disconnector, hammer, uh, disconnector spring, and then the outer stud. And this is what the trigger bar rides on right here. Now, I'm going to put it back in the gun. But what I'm going to do first is grab the safety. And if you see this notch here in the safety, what you have to do, this is the hardest part of doing the gun. Not right here, but the whole hammer assembly. Is just getting it, push the sear up with your finger and catch it in that notch. So you have to kind of push pretty far back. And then once you catch it like that, you see I've got it caught so the sear stays up. You want to go ahead and get it lined up and put the safety part way through. That way it captures the sear and the, the safety itself. You don't really have to worry what position this is in right now. So now that I'm ready to put it back in, I'm just going to put this up here just kind of lock that all in place and then I'm going to put the trigger back in first it's a mistake I've made before now this spring fell out earlier and I didn't show you where it actually went um, it will go let's see this hole right here on the inside of the frame it goes through that hole and rest like that. So yeah, that's good enough. That shows you how it goes down in there and it will just fall right back out. Um, so get that in there and then you want to take your trigger, trigger bar, go ahead and put the trigger through the trigger bar and you see that plunger. I just put the trigger through the bar, whatever I missed. Um, you can put that back in just the way it sits. And then you'll want to take your spring that I told you about earlier and set that in that front slot. It goes right down in this slot right here. So I'm going to hopefully get lucky and just drop it down in there. Yeah, I got lucky. Okay. And then I'll take the magazine, or the bolt stop, bolt catch, slide lock. I guess, yeah, it is a bolt catch. Sorry, I keep calling it a slide lock. It's just used to hammer and striker fired guns, which this is too, but not a little bit different. Um, and then I'm going to put that in like that, and that's going to, the front of that rest on that spring. That's what gives the this tension. So I'm going to push down. I'm going to go ahead and line that first one up and push the pin through. Oh, missed it. Yeah, come on now. There we go. So now I've captured that. Now I'm just going to put the back it out just enough. Put the trigger trigger bar down in there. Look on this side. See what we got. If I have to line it up with the. just have to give it a quick push and now it's all all captured through there so all right so now we can put the hammer assembly back in make sure you keep i might not have mentioned it earlier but there is a little detent and spring that comes in the back of the safety it goes right there in that hole the lighting in here sucks there's a hole right there it goes in the safety bowl we'll put that in last because it's gonna want to get away from you all right, so 
I'm going to move the trigger bar out of the way. I'm going to pull this back, pull the safety back enough just whoop, to where it's still capturing the actual safety, safety itself where I can get the hammer and strut down in there. And then it's going to go in there like this. Basically the spring on the left side of the gun because the spring actually rests right here on this little slot inside the frame. So look at the way I have it. Stud with the, the nub on this side goes on down in. And basically what I'll do is make sure that the spring follows and goes down kind of with the strut because it can get in front of the sear. The first thing you want to do is make sure you capture the trigger bar. <laughs> there you'll be doing this all over again. So kind of just push it all down in there. Now you want to make sure that the strut is pushing on the, the little the spring on the main spring housing. This part that you put in. So just get it. Get it down in there. You shouldn't have to put any uh, pressure. Just maybe a little bit. To get it lined up. There we go. I didn't do it the way I wanted to. This hammer's way too far forward. Because that spring is not sitting where I want it to. So let me take that out and do that again real quick. And that spring, the spring's messed up. I need to order a new one. But it still works, but it gets wrapped around the sear. It doesn't want to go where it needs to go. We lost the... Alright, I lost what I was trying to do. I'm going to have to pull all of it out. Get out of there. Alright, I'm going to do that again. I messed up. I didn't wasn't paying attention when I stuck it back down in there. So I'm going to grab the sear, move the trigger bar up out of the way. I'm going to push the sear up towards me. And then grab it with the notch and the safety. So do that. I'm going to push the, get it lined up and push the safety through just a little bit. Now I'm going to take the trigger, the hammer. The problem is I got that stupid tape there. I couldn't see what I was doing. Um, I'm going to set it down in the gun just like this. Just make sure that spring goes behind the sear. Get the trigger bar captured. I always do that when I do these. Let me make sure that all looks halfway right. There we go. So it captured. That's, it's not as hard as I made it look. Um, so now I've got it kind of all captured. And the spring is...
not exactly where I want it to be. But oh, there we go. Enough where I can I can work with it. Um, so now it's all captured now. Um, what you want to do now is before you push this all the way through, get this detent ready. And just go ahead and push it back in the back of the safety. Make sure the actual safety is up and out of the way so you can push the safety lever all the way through. And it will just kind of free fall right now. There we go. So now I'm going to push it down as far as I can get it. Make sure that detent's lined up. Make sure I look on this other side because it's I'm going to have to kind of push down a little bit. There we go. And now I'm just going to push in on that detent. Get the safety back up where it needs to be. And push the detent in while I snap the trigger and the safety down. So now the safety should work. The hammer should cock. Now if it doesn't, well, I'm going to show you. You might this happens this can happen with the guns if you just take the frame off and you push the hammer forward um, just go ahead and throw a magazine in the gun and then you should be able to cock the hammer like that so um, that is all back together the way it should be like I said your spring I'm gonna take it out of view so I can see what I'm doing It over here there's that little foot spring that should be sitting on there resting on the frame like this the way this one is but this one's bent to hell um, it's just for the disconnect which I'm gonna delete it anyways because I hate magazine disconnects but I just haven't done it on this first personal mark IV I've had um, so, but it still works so all right um, so you've got the trigger in safety um, uh, the only thing left to do now is put the slide lock lever, the magazine release back in. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. One thing you do, um, if you have the safety, go ahead and install the safety on this at this time. I'm going to go ahead and put this screw back in so it doesn't try anything funny on me. And we are home free. So overall, this is a pretty easy disassembly. Um, there's one part that I, this I've noticed is missing. He told me it was missing. It's okay. Um, that the has a magazine um, assist here. It's this piece right here that goes up with a spring and a detent. It's lost the detent or the spring is gone. Um, so, I mean, realistically though, once the magazine releases in there, it it pushes it out so it's not something that i need right now it's not like i'm running competition with it so i'll get one eventually um let's go ahead and do the magazine release yeah let's do the safety first or the slide lock first let's just go ahead and unscrew unscrew this Slide the side lock. Over. It just kind of slides in there between that and then put your screw back down in there. I hate having to use magnetic screwdrivers because I don't have them hologram bits with them. Oh, now you go in there. Perfect. Let's give that a nice little tug. And then pull out your magazine release. If you put the screw back in there, good for you. If not, give me a second. So now put your magazine release back in. It just goes down in the gun with the gap facing the rear. And if you look down in there, there's a hole that you'll have to line up with. I'll show you on this other side. You should be able to push it and see it stick out. So now what you want to do is get your screw on the on your... Just lose the screw is what you're going to do here. 
Apparently, that's what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Yep, there could be a number of places. So, yeah, that not always happen. All right, well, I will find it. Not to ruin the rest of my video. Um, basically, what you do is get your push down on the magazine release, make sure it's in the right place, push down on the magazine release, um, put the screw in, tighten it down, and then the mag this see the lip on the magazine release it's got a small lip that uh, that screw prevents it from coming out. So that is how you do it, and that's what I will do as soon as I find that little screw. Um, so that is the complete disassembly of the Ruger Mark IV. If you want to go ahead and put everything in. Yeah, missed the button. Get in there. There we go. So function check everything. Make sure the gun functions. My question my magazine release don't work. I'm gonna take that out of there before I lose the detent. Put your grips back on and you're ready to go. So I made a couple little bobbles and that happens when you do this without ed editing. Um, and I'm sure you will too. It's not a terribly difficult um, in the disassembly and assembly. Um, you have a few little tricks here and there that hopefully you guys learned. And if you have any that you want to share with me, maybe I'm not doing something the easiest way possible. I don't know everything. Um, I do all these on my own just by learning. I've learned over the years. So, um, you know, like, subscribe for more. We're going to be doing more disassembly videos. I got an XDS coming up, um, soon. And we're also going to be doing a Smith & Wesson 586L comp. And probably the Beretta M9A3. I just got one of those. And I'm looking forward to ripping that apart and taking a video of that. So, subscribe you know i'm looking to get up there um, we're at over 200 now so let's get to 300 um and then to five and then to a thousand and more so uh we'll see you next time thanks for watching everybody